The media is reporting that President Trump's executive branch may narrow the definition of gender to being defined by genetics. The secular media has lamented the turn, with the New York Times stating, the new definition would essentially eradicate federal recognition of the estimated 1.4 million Americans who have opted to recognize themselves, surgically or otherwise, as a gender other than the one they were born into. The absurdity of this type of response should be apparent, as if the idea of gender should be separate from the physical reality determined by genetics. It should be evident to Christians that they need to stand up and tell the truth when it comes to these topics, because the world is falling further into sin. Remember that the Bible says that God made humankind in His image, male and female. To distort God's design is to deny His sovereignty and lordship over creation. If you would like to support the work and ministry of Apologia, please consider signing up for Apologia All Access at ApologiaStudios.com.